Good morning, everyone, on this Monday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. I'm actually doing a bunch of these uh, reflections early because I'm going to take a few days off. <laughs> so I'm actually doing this on Saturday for the week. But at any rate, we have finished Genesis and we're beginning the book of Exodus. And we're in chapter 1, verses 8 through 14 and verse 22. A new king who knew nothing of Joseph came to power in Egypt. He said to his subjects, Look how numerous and powerful the people of the children of Israel are growing, more so than we ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increase. Otherwise, in time of war, they may join our enemies to fight against us and so leave our country. Accordingly, the taskmasters were set over the children of Israel to oppress them with forced labor. Thus they had to build the Pharaoh the supply cities of Pithom and Ramses. Yet the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The Egyptians then dreaded the children of Israel and reduced them to cruel slavery, making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work the whole cruel fate of slaves. Pharaoh then commanded all his subjects, throw into the river every boy that is born to the Hebrews, but you may let the girls live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, we saw that God in the book of Genesis was going to bring about blessing to all humanity through the seed of Abraham. In other words, the plan was through a particular family group, and this family group would grow numerous, and that's exactly what has happened in the land of Egypt. But there is a threat felt by the Egyptian pharaoh, and so what is he going to do? Well, the best way is to just cut them off. So throw every single male a child born, and once you throw away all the male children, then their seed will be reduced to nothing. It's kind of a diabolical plan, and it's been a plan that has been in place, well, all the way up until now, and probably will be tomorrow. There is a sort of uh, behind-the-scenes kind of diabolical type attitude towards God's chosen seed. It's not a good thing, not at all. Hitler tried to do it. I'm sure we're seeing um, throughout many countries anti-Semitism. And it's against the seed that God's promise uh, that this big thing is against. So we have to uh, bear in mind that God's word is going to be sure and strong through the whole thing. And there was even an attempt to throw away the seed of Jesus by nailing him to a cross. He conquered death and brings life to all people, but first to the Jew and then to all Gentiles. Let us rejoice in the Lord for his great, great mercy and faithfulness to his promise. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.